Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Did you guys vote? Good job. Way to be American and all that stuff. Anyways guys, before I get the show started, I want to let you guys know that I so, so thank you guys. So many positive responses underneath the last show on Friday. You guys were like welcoming me back. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. This is why we do it. This is why us YouTubers do it. We do it for you guys, and we appreciate the gratitude that we get. I do apologize for it being over 17 minutes long, but there was a lot to cover, and of course I wanted to do a little sketch in the beginning, but what's really funny about that is I had two sketches in the beginning. Yeah, two sketches. So I, when I was editing it, before I was going to finally render the actual show, I was like, you know what, the second one, let me just remove it, and I'll show it on next on the next episode, which is today. So, without further ado, here is the second part of the sketch that I had for my comeback show on Friday. It's a little crazy, it's a little stupid, but uh, enjoy, please. My Android friends, welcome to another episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, here at Android Junkie, or at AndroidSpin.com. And did you, did you like that little sketch? It's kind of funny about that little sketch, I ripped off myself. That sounds really dirty, but yeah, I ripped off myself because on my original channel, the Film Junkie channel, my second episode I did, which was almost two years ago, I did something similar like that, so I, I figured, you know, not a lot of people saw that, not a lot of you saw the sketch, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it again because it was pretty funny. I can rip off myself, it's okay. I'm gonna sue myself. <laughs> that sounds dirty too. Anyways guys, I appreciate you clicking in as always. And uh, you know, as always, I'm rambling, so let's talk about some Android. Who's gonna get a Nexus 4? You, and you, and you? Yeah, but a new test came out that might sway you the other way. Seems that the Nexus 4 is not getting the best battery life. You know, we talked about it not having LTE support and why that was the case. You know, having two radios might drain your battery like it did with the Galaxy Nexus. So they left it out and with these test results, it's looking like it didn't really help much. See, as you can see here, when it's on Wi-Fi, it comes in dead last. It does a little better with 3G, but still not that great. So what does that have to say for LG and Google's new flagship phone? Well, I mean, you know, it's still pretty good battery life. It's not that bad. I actually had some guy blast me on his own little blog saying that, you know, it was a one-sided article and blah, blah, blah. When really I was like, well, yeah, that's terrible for a new device, but yet it's not that bad. You know, I mean, battery life is always an important element when it comes to buying a new phone. We want the best. We want it to last at least a day. Did you know Die Hard Rooters is just gonna root that thing and upload the latest Cyanogen, AOKP, or whatever, and you know what? The battery life's gonna be even better because it's gonna have a different kernel. You know what? It really doesn't matter if you're a diehard user. Maybe it'll matter if you're not like us. You need to become us. I will show you a world. Shining, shimmering splendors. Future me, will you edit that out? But anyways, I ask you, is this gonna prevent you from not getting a Nexus 4 or are you just like, eh, I don't care? Let me know down below in the balls area. Let me know if you still plan on getting a Nexus 4 even though these results came out. I mean, some people were even saying they were false. There was like an iPhone fanboy that threw them out there. But I mean, a couple sites, a few sites were reporting on them. So who knows what the deal is. It may very well could have been, you know, let me know if you have some hard evidence that that was the case. Because I mean, the iPhone 5 was at the top of Boa. So you never know. You never know. These crazy hype phonies. The Nexus 10 and the iPad 4 go head to head in a no holds bar fight to the death. <gasps> Brawl of benchmark epicosity. And the Nexus 10 came out a little short. What's going on with these new Nexus products? Yeah, there's about six test results, you know, and performance test results, and the uh, Nexus 10 didn't really 
outdo the iPad. Again, this very well could be <laughs> an Apple fanboy releasing weird, crazy test results. But you know what? Benchmark tests, you know, it's a cool thing. It, it's, it's a cool thing to like, hey, look at how fast my phone is. <laughs> 5203, yeah. But you know, it's still fast. It's still got a super fast processor, a beautiful screen. You know, this wouldn't sway me at all. I still want to get an Nexus 10 really bad. You know, and I'm not, obviously, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, get an iPad, it's faster. No, you know, it's it, these are benchmarks just to show, yeah, processor speed, you know, and I must say, Apple products, as much as they're so plain and boring and dull and you know, they're freaking fast. I mean, every time I see somebody with an iPhone, I'm like, God, that is pretty freaking fast and smooth. That's the only thing I'm jealous about, that it still is. I know with Jelly Bean, it's getting better. Trust me, you know, it's so much better, but still, it's like sometimes you're like, mm, it's so fluid and fast, Meh. But I would never, don't worry, I would never buy an iPhone or an iPad, don't worry, guys. I can already hear people knocking down my door with pitchforks and torches about to kill me like I'm Frankenstein. But anyways, let me know what you think about these test results. If you click down below on the balls area where the article is, you can see all six test results and see that the Nexus 10 quite, you know, doesn't quite measure up, but you know, what can you do? All right, Galaxy Nexus users, we got something for you. Last night, a good buddy of mine named Keon at OMG Droid found a nice little zip file that obviously I ripped off from him and posted on my site. <laughs> No, I didn't. I, I, I gave him props and, you know, he got credit for it. Ken, I love you. No, we got a nice little zip file that has all the Android 4.2 core apps that you can flash on your Galaxy Nexus. That's right, it's only for Galaxy Nexus. I mean, you could try to flash it on some other phone, maybe it'll work, but you know, that's at your own risk. Well, everything, when, you, when it comes to flashing a zip file, that's always at your own risk. But anyways, this has the keyboard, the alarm, the freaking calendar, a Gmail, and I heard from somebody that the, the camera, like Photosphere and all that crap, is even better. It's faster than the, the file that's been out there. So everything is on there, all the core apps, I believe like even the GTalk and the Play Store. I don't know, I don't have a Galaxy Nexus, so I don't know per se. I just was like, here's, here's a link. We also have a link to the 4.2 Google Wallet if you want to use that too. So check down the links below. Click that, put it on your phone, let us know how it is. I haven't heard anybody complain about it. I mean, that article went crazy overnight. It was like, there's a lot of hits on it, which was awesome. And I haven't really heard any complaints. I think one person commented saying that it didn't work and he was sad about it. So he probably did something wrong. Poor guy. And finally, did you guys see the last Angry Birds Star Wars trailer that Rovio released yesterday? <laughs> Looks pretty awesome. Let's take a quick look. <laughs> how excited I am about it. Yes, the final trailer for Angry Birds Star Wars has been released showing a lot of gameplay. Did you see the Millennium Falcon at the end? That's awesome. I think that's like when um, Angry Birds or was, was it, yeah, regular Angry Birds when they had that super bird that just crushes everything that you get every now and then. I think that's what that is. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be released tomorrow and um, I'm looking forward to it. Looks pretty awesome, not going to lie. The fanboy, Star Wars fanboy inside me is getting pretty excited, as you can see. I got this in my hand. Those damn Angry Birds. Remember how they used to mess with me a lot? Great, they're back. I got a lightsaber this time, guys. Don't even try to mess with me. Bring it, guys. That's right, you freaking birds. Don't mess with the Jedi Master. I know how to handle a lightsaber. Anyways guys, look for Angry Birds Star Wars tomorrow. It'll be released in the Play Store probably who knows when. Late at night, midnight, short of midnight. Who the heck cares? It's not like you have to wait in line for like Halo 4. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. Well, all right, guys, I appreciate you clicking in as always. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button, share it with a like, like I always say. All the articles covered today are down below in the balls area, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my other channel. I'm gonna start doing uh, movie news and stuff like that on my original channel, like I did before all of this. Look out for that. Follow me on all the social media, Twitter, G+, Facebook, all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been The Mandroid Show. <laughs>